Hello and welcome. I'm Millipine and today I'm continuing on the game Through the Woods. Uh, what we remember from last time or the last that happened was that our son was abducted and we started searching for him. So I hope we can find him. Let's see... Wait... Already here? The... <laughs> road splits? Guess we should check this one out first. I, I'm, I don't really think this is the right way, but you know, you might find... Something... Or not... Except a giant door? That you can't open. Oh crap. Espen? Shit, this can't be happening. Espen! So I really tried to set down the resolution a bit in hopes of the game running a bit smoother but it seems like it didn't help that much really. Well, this looks like a cozy place. Wait, what? Did that just light up? Can I do anything? No. Can't really see what's standing there either. Okay. So here we go, I guess. Oh. Okay. Hello. This isn't something you see every day, not even in Norway. <laughs> I mean, this looks like a abandoned Viking town. Is someone there? This is rather interesting, actually. I mean, maybe we're gone back in time so we m meet Vikings or something. That would be awesome. Doesn't seem like it's too much to do around, though. Here is something I can pick up. Brothers, I found, I found a ram's horn. Wait. 
Wait, can there be something in here too? No. I mean, I, I kind of feel like there's something that might pop up at any moment. But, yeah. Oh, we can read something. Let's see. Old Eric, Villager's Tales. The old bastard came to the village yesterday. Eve. The craven whoreson took Raider's boy away. That bastard. No one saw him come. Though, we set a watch some weeks ago. The boy didn't make a sound, the wretched thing. With all a mind to go up there at last and put an end to this but for the gates. The cursed gates won't open to those such as us. All we can do is bride and hope Raider's boy was the last. The corruption of the man. His heart is, if he has one, must be rotten as a muff dead swine. And our gods do nothing. A curse to the whole festering pile of them. And curse on the murdering bastard Eric. Okay. Eric. There was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good or Old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, later I wasn't so sure. Okay. Shit. So, well, I can actually explain a bit about that. Old Eric is, or, wait, what? Okay. Yeah, what I was supposed to say, uh, old Eric, and uh, that's really bad news actually, because, uh, well, old Eric is uh, literally the devil, or the Scandinavian or Norwegian name on the devil, traditionally. I'm not really sure if they call him that in Sweden too, but you know hey maybe there's something up here there's a candle can I do something with it I mean just a random candle burning in the middle of nowhere in a desolated town Is there anything in here? Apparently not. More doors. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. What about the other door? Can there be something down there? No. Apparently nothing in here either. Not 
sure if the creepy music is a good sign or not. Oh, more to read. Let's see. Yeah, kitty. Spied a glimmer from the watchtower in the night. Must be that strange rucker man lighting his lantern again. The way he skulks around in the dark makes me grip my bow tighter. But he's the only one who keeps the path lit and carries off the dead. He's been doing it longer than anyone can remember, though no one knows why. Hardly anyone sees him about it either, as he only works in the black of night. The old ones leave baskets of bread outside the fence now and then to keep him fed. Always gone the next morn, unless I watch it through the night. Then it goes stale and gets taken by the ravens. Seems as much as I watch out for the old Rocky, he has his eyes yet better trained on me. Interesting. So here the Rucker sounds more like a supernatural being. Uh, well, historically that's actually was sort of a job. I mean, uh, the Rucky was... Oh, I'm not really sure how to explain it. Um, he had a lot of things to do, among other things he were the one who put uh, executed people's heads on stakes if they were executed by beheading them or he also carried away dead animals and shit really more or less all shit that was in the city and they were really looked down upon. So it wasn't really a job you wanted to have. But I guess it had to be done though. Doesn't seem to be very much to do in here too. It is up here though. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be very much inside here. Oh! More to pick up. Brothers, I found a found. A ring of birch. Nice. Guess that may come in handy too. Just like a ram's horn and a dead magpie. This is Espen's. Oh, she must have dressed it. I'm coming, Espen. I hope that's good news. That's positive. Let's hope it stays that way. 
No. No, I don't want thunder. I don't like thunder. Or rain. Or I like rain though. But I really don't like thunder or lightning. Or what? Okay, so Mirkstad. Okay, was that the name of the place I just came from or I mean it's hard enough to read the runes on this stone, but even if I could read them, I mean if I could see them, I really couldn't read them. I don't hope they say something important. No. Spam! Can't be far ahead. Fuck this weather. And don't get so dark. Uh. Oh god damn it. Okay. Wonder is there oh shit. Is there anything more inside here? Exact rubble. And wait a second, here it says something. It seems like two people are fighting, but it's hard to read. Sadly. What was that sound? Oh, that's Espen's flashlight. What? Oh, Espen, please don't hurt him. Please. Don't you hurt him? I'm coming, Espen. I'm coming. Well, I guess we can leave it at that for now. So, don't remember or <laughs> don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you like this video. And see you next time.